Our Southern Volley book is done, so check it out on Amazon. You won't be a dead looking man. I want to do a comparison between two frames and three strings, out of power, out of power spin, and element. This is the Aero Drive. I used to play with it, very heavy, 300 grams, 11.3 ounces. Great for ground strokes, medium for serve, bad for volleys. And the reason I talk about it is it hurts my hand. And certain frames will hurt your hand over time. You have to be also very careful with strings too, because strings will do the same thing. I like this frame when I served with it. it. It had a lot of momentum on the serve. It's hard for people to get the return back, but it damaged my arm and hurt my wrist. <laughs> my other frame is the Encode N3. They just came out with it again. It's lighter, but it's very powerful. It's good for serve, good for volleys, but the ground strokes are very light. They're not heavy ground strokes. Great for backhand slices, great for chipping, but when you take a good swing at a ball with top spin, it tends to fly. And I use this frame now because I'm pretty much a doubles player and my singles game relies on that also. So think about these things when you're choosing your frame. Now, in addition to your frame, you have to evaluate what you want for your racket. I tell people stay within the brand, Wilson, Prince, whatever, and, it's, and play it with a stiff one, a medium one, and a not so stiff one. And no racket is good for all of them, volley, overhead, serve, ground strokes. Volleys and overheads tend to take very little movement. They need a lot of power from the rack to have good volley or overhead serve. Whereas ground strokes can really take a swing at a ball. And so if your racket's too stiff, then you need a shorter swing. And if you have a big swing, it's hard to play with a stiff racket. So when you get strings, you want to string it in the middle of the tension band, 55 to 65. And watch the gauge. 15 gauge is the biggest, 17 gauge is the smallest. 15L is smaller than 15 by 0.5 millimeters. And it makes a difference in terms of your durability and the play. So when you're looking at strings, polyester tends to be the solution because poly hardly ever breaks. A very stiff string. And within that band of strings, you have stiff and soft and there's so many things. Basically, polys get the string on it based on the outlook power. I like it, it's a 16L string. It's thinner than 16, but it's not quite thin like 17. The good spin, you have good power. The numbers to gauge, the 125. The higher it is, the thicker it is, and it's bad for volleys. And it's a very soft feel when you volley. It feels like the ball goes into the string bed and just kind of you kind of lose control of the volley. And but I like it because it's the most durable string that plays really well in terms of adding spin. All the polys add a lot of spin. The key would be you must swing fast on a poly. Watch when I start to warm up. I'm not swinging fast and it tends to launch the ball. And I think the key is the faster you swing, the longer the, string, the ball stays on the string, and the more control you have of the, of the shot. But you must swing fast to get the full benefit of poly. When you volley, you must have hand action or it launches. I can block balls with no power, but in order for me to volley a ball with poly, I have to move my hand. See how the ball just kind of bounces off my string? Now, as I add more power, I need my hand a little bit more, the body comes off a little bit better. When you play with a 16 gauge string like Alu Power, for some reason, I break the string like every 40 hours. It's medium on the body, you get more movement on the serve, you have a little bit more spin as its namesake. And, but the problem with this string for some reason is I break it really quickly. Alu Power, I don't. Alu Power spin, I break it. And I like to keep track of my strings in terms of hours of play. Strings tend to die out after so many hours of play. If you swing quickly, the string is marvelous. Overheads, it's fine. Serves, it's fine. Volleys, you gotta make sure you move the hand. Now, Element is a 16 gauge string and it's very, very stiff. And I mentioned this because if I play with Element with either of my frames, it's starting to hurt my hand. It's very lively, the spin is very same, but if it's stiff, it's easier to volley. So within the polys, you have soft, stiff, and medium, and this is very stiff. It's pretty good control on the volley, gives me pretty good action on the serve, but the power level is a little lower. The stiffer the string, I guess the less trampoline you have, and the less power you get on your serve. You must use spin when you use poly. It really makes the ball jump. Look at the kick serve. Great jump. I don't get that jump with any other string. 
So if you have to choose, Alu Pog is a stable string with good power. The body is medium, but you get good spin. It's not as much spin as Alu Power spin, but I think it's more power than element. When you're choosing your string, I, I'm realistic. It's price, it's like a $17 string. And it's durability, it lasts probably 80 hours. And it plays very well. But when you go to the other strings like Element, Element is very stiff. Great body, a little less power than the other string, medium spin. I think Auto Power Spin still has the most spin. Auto Power has more spin than the Element. And so, what's good about Element is it's very stiff, so it's very easy in the body, it's very easy in the slice. And you need to play with these strings yourself and see the variety. I'm stringing it at one pound over the middle just to see how it feels. But it feels pretty good in terms of its ability for me to control the ball. Alu Power Spin is good. It has great spin. It's a little bit more powerful than Alu Power, but it breaks quickly and the volume, the volley is medium. Still a rather soft string. So Alu Power is the softest, gives me the most power. Alu Power Spin gives you the most spin, but you break it. Now, what do you want? Elements kind of in the middle. Great volley, medium power, good spin. I would take Alu Power because it's durable, it feels the best against heavy hitters, it's a soft feel. Element will hurt my hand over time. Auto Power Spin, it just, if it's a good tournament and I, I need something to play very, very well for a tournament, then I'll make the investment, but on the long term, it's just, I break it too fast. And to me, that's the most important thing. But I also, these strings play better than nylon, they play better than Prince Synthetic, they play better than Gut. And for the price, you can't beat it. Now when we get to the rackets, this is a stiff frame. I think it's bad for your bodies and bad for your wrists. It's just too heavy for me. When I follow through, the racket carries my hand farther than I want to go. And so I had to make a change. And so I made a change to the end code, which is my old racket. Also, when you're doing your rackets, think about what your game is all about. Do you like to serve in volley? Do you hit a lot of ground strokes? I like to serve in volley. This racket is the best. It's an old man racket, it's hard for ground strokes, but my ground stroking game has never been the, the strongest part of my game. My ground stroking game is more about keeping the ball in play. So optimal for me, and code three, Alu Power, strung at 61. And I like to have a secondary frame strung a little lower so I have a variety between the two rackets. And I like to switch between the two rackets to keep the strings about the same level. I know it's a problem when it breaks, but that's the way it is. So test it out, see what you think, appreciate your comments. Looking forward to an active discussion. Hawaii Fans Pro out.